We start at 5 o'clock with an update on a deadly police shooting in Virginia after an eight-mile chase on I-95. Good evening, I'm Michelle Marsh. And I'm Scott Thuman. That pursuit shut down the interstate through the early morning, causing some major delays for commuters. 7 News reporter Tom Rousey has been on the story for us all day. And Tom, I understand this was all connected to an alleged carjacking that actually happened in Maryland. Yeah, Michelle, it all started actually 40 miles from here. The chase didn't last that long. In fact, it only lasted about eight miles total. It caused quite a mess on 95. You can see 95 back moving again. Traffic is no longer affected by what happened, but it was quite a scene last night and early this morning right here at mile marker 150, just a short distance down the road where this all ended. We're tracking a vehicle headed southbound on 95. It looks like we got three or four units in the area trying to catch up with it. Radio traffic recorded on openmhz.com portrays an eight-mile chase by Virginia State Police Troopers Wednesday night. It ended here, just south of the Joplin Road exit in Triangle. Possible shots fired? I fired. Copy shots fired. About an hour before those shots were fired, U.S. Park Police say around 9.45 p.m. they responded to Suitland Parkway near Silver Hill Road in Prince George's County for a carjacking. They say they did not chase the suspects, but based on police radio traffic, it appears they used their helicopter to track the carjack vehicle down into Virginia. Around 10.15, Virginia State Police say their troopers began chasing the vehicle on 95 South near the Prince William Parkway. Three people were inside. Conducted a pit on 95. Police eventually did what's called a pit maneuver to force the vehicle to stop. They say the driver then ignored their commands and made abrupt movements with his hands. At that point, troopers opened fire, shooting and killing him. One other man in the carjacked vehicle was taken to the hospital. A third person was unhurt and taken into custody. Although the carjacking and shooting by police all happened Wednesday night, by Thursday morning rush hour, I-95 South in parts of Virginia was still a mess. But later in the morning, things began to clear up. Now, at one point during this eight mile chase, a Virginia State Police trooper about five miles up the road actually got involved in a crash and his car flipped over, but we're told he is OK. Now, at this point, none of the names of the suspects, including the man who died, have been released. Also, the names of the Virginia State Police troopers have not been released either. We are told, though, that four of them are on administrative leave as this is investigated, which is standard procedure. Reporting live in Triangle, Virginia, Virginia in Prince William County along I-95. I'm Tom Rousey, 7 News. And as Tom said, Park Police were not involved in the chase. The agency adopted stricter rules on pursuits after a 2017 chase and deadly shooting led to a civil lawsuit. Yeah, Bijan Gazer was unarmed when he was killed and two officers who shot repeatedly at him faced manslaughter charges from the Fairfax County Commonwealth's attorney, but they were ultimately not criminally prosecuted after the DOJ intervened. Gazar's family reached a settlement with the agency for $5 million just last year. Now, following that deadly shooting, Park Police also started a body camera program.